Good day everyone! Today I will be discussing to you the undefined terms in geometry. So these are the basic terms in geometry. We have the point, line, and the plane. Point. It refers to the idea of an exact fixed location. So let's say our example, we have the corner of this board. So that is an example of a point, a star in the sky, or a tip, tip of this marker. Next we have the line. Line, it is a set of infinite many points arranged in a straight, in a straight path which extends endlessly in opposite directions. So if we're going to draw a line, we'll come up with this one. Endlessly in opposite directions, so the line or our line is continuous up to infinity. Example of line is the edge of this whiteboard or the edge of your book. Next, we have the plane. It is a flat surface that extends endlessly in all directions. So example of plane is this whiteboard itself. Now, you will also encounter the collinear points. Collinear, these are the points contained in the same line. So we have collinear the same line, contained in the same line. You also have the coplanar, coplanar points contained in the same plane. Now let us try to solve some problems in the undefined terms in geometry. Letter A, identify the idea we have a point, a line, and a plane represented by each phrase. Number one, curtain rod. What is your answer? Point, line, or plane? Curtain rod is a line. Or simply line. Next, number two, a mole. A mole is an example of a point. Next, cable wire is an example of point, line, or plane. Wire, that is a line. How about number four, top of a box? Yes, it is a plane. Number five, cover of a book. About the cover, is it a plane? And last, a cloth line. Yes, it is a line, of course. Okay, we're done in letter A. Now let us proceed in letter B. Direction. Draw a figure to illustrate each relationship. This time we're going to draw a figure. Now, let number one, collinear points P, T, and S lie on line P. So we have a line P, so we're going to draw a line P. This is a line P, and we have collinear points. We have three points, we will name it as P, T, and S. So this will be your answer. Okay. Now, can you try number two? Coplanar points M, N, and Q lie in plane T. 
Can you draw the figure? Then label the points. Now let's check your answers. We have plain T. So we have plain T. Let's say this is our plane. We'll name it as T. And we have coplanar points. Inside our plane, plane T, we have the three points M, N, and Q. This will be your answer, or the answer in number. Did you get the same answer? Next, number three. Line XY contains point E but not point G. So we have a line XY, so we need to draw the line. Let's say this is our X and Y, and the line contains point E. So let's say we have point E here, but not point G. So G will be in this part, or you can write G in this one, or in this area. Okay. And number four, line VW lies in a plane H. So we have H. Plane H, let's say this is our plane H, then a line lies in plane H, so we have line V double. And now we're done in our activity A and B. Did you understand the basic undefined terms in geometry? Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.